Hello, and welcome to Using Split Bars in Uniface. My name is George Mockford, and I'd like to spend the next 15 minutes talking to you about split bars within Uniface and how they can be used to extend your application. First of all, what are split bars? Well, introduced in version 7, split bars appear as horizontal or vertical lines with a, a Uniface form. And they protect controls or create areas or panels whereby Uniface's Layout Manager allows you to present overlay forms. Now, in addition to this, these lines can be picked up by the user and used to resize portions of the screen. Now, before we see a demonstration of split bars and how they can be applied, first of all, let's take a look at some of their properties. First of all, they can be horizontal or vertical. They can be visible or hidden. Now, even if they are hidden, you can still detect they're there by moving your mouse over the relative position and the cursor will change, allowing you to select it with your left hand mouse key. They can be resizable by the user, which is the default, or you can in fact fix them in place, thereby protecting a particular part of the screen. Now, when they're visible, you can specify that they are of type thin, which is basically three pixels wide, or a relatively thick seven pixels wide. And if they are of that type, then you will see them displayed in a 3D style. Now, the split bars themselves also have the property attached to form border. And if this is selected, then what it basically means is you're assigning them to a relative offset between either the left or right or top or bottom borders, such that when you resize the form, the split part bar will keep that same relative position to the edge of the form. Okay. So now let's take a look at split bars and how they could be used within your application. So first of all, let's take a look at a very simple application here. There's a very simple form here. We've embedded an OCX control here and we've got a drop target here. Now, what this form allows you to do is to pick up, in this case, a bitmap place it on the drop target. And what happens is an overlay form is going to be created here. So as you move down and drag various components in, or various bitmaps in to the component, um, the image changes. Now that's all very well, but as you can see, it's a relatively small image area here. I'd like to see more of it, but um, no matter what I do, if I resize the form, nothing happens. Um, to actually increase the size or the viewable area. So let's go and take a look at the development environment. Let's add in a few basic split bars and let's see if we can improve the situation. So here's that source for that same component. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a couple of very basic split bars. I'm gonna take a horizontal split bar and I'm going to place it just above the, the button here. I'm going to take a vertical one and I'm going to place it there between the drop target and the OCX control. And I'm going to take another horizontal one and I'm going to place it just below the OCX control. So that effect is I'm defining this little area here. As you can see, these are all visible, so they're resizable. So let's just take that as is. Let's compile this. And let's go and have a look at the effects on our little application. So I fire this up now. So you can see the split bars in here. Uh, you can see they're movable. I can move these up and down. And you can see that the, the exit button will move uh, with this. So now if I grab one of these bitmaps and drop them on the drop target, now, immediately you can see there's a, a difference because what's happened now is Uniface has recognized that you're loading this 
overlay form into an area of the screen defined by these split bars. And so what it's done is it's immediately increased the size of the form automatically to fill up the available area. And if I move these bars around, you can see it, it stretches and moves the image along with you. Now notice that as I as I move it, like I say, the exit button is still visible, and so is the drop target. So let's see if we can improve it a bit more, because this area up here, the OCX control is displaying a list of my files to drag and drop, is a little bit on the small area. I'd like to be able to resize this. So once again, let's go out of this. Let's go back to the development environment. And let's first of all go in here and look at this control. And this control has options here to attach to a window border. So let's turn these all on. Now, if we did nothing else, then this, this edge of the OCS control is going to attach to this border. This one's going to attach, in this case, to this split bar, not the edge. And likewise here. But we still need another uh, line in here to protect this control here. So if I add another split bar in here, and let's just make that one hidden so we don't see it. Now let's compile and let's take a look at the difference that makes. So here's our component again. And you can see that now we can actually stretch this component out to see more or less files. I can still drag and drop them into this area over here. It still gets created. And notice how everything is being resized as I move things around. So I can stretch this right down here, see the files that I want, drop that in there, and actually then just move this upwards to get a better um, view of the file. Maybe we can go one better. Um, as you notice, as I move this into this drop area over here, we have the no, no drop sign, the logo here. Um, and I've actually got to seek out where this this area is. It'd be really nice if I can just drop it into this huge area and get the same effect. Now, as we've got our split bars currently defining these areas over here, protecting um, these components, I can go into this drop target. And like with the OCX control, I can say attach to top, bottom, left, and right. And I go back to my application. And now this time you can see this is automatically been resized. So now I've got this complete area to drop this into. And I can resize this. So if I need more room, it still works exactly the same. And I can uh, reduce the size of this or increase it at will. Notice that the, um, again, the exit button is being protected by this split bar here and this navigation link to navigate through the various subfolders is likewise protected. 